This is Michael Wilson. We're looking at the question, is God the object of faith? And there's much to be said about faith. I mean, tons and tons and tons, books and books and books. But we start with God. God is the object of my faith. God is the object of your faith. I start with belief in him. And this gets tested. It's, it's not like, oh, you know, belief in done. My faith needs to grow. And like the man who came to see Jesus looking for a miracle, I say, <laughs> I too believe, Lord, help my unbelief. So I want radical faith in my life. I don't know it's just with this ordinary, run-of-the-mill, go to church once a week kind of faith. May it rain down on me. May it rain down on you. May we bathe in it into the stunning beauty of our master Jesus. Oh, now that's a good word. May we bathe in the stunning beauty of our master Jesus. So perhaps the strongest statement emphasizing faith comes from the risen Jesus encounter with the so-called doubting Thomas. Jesus says, happy are those who have not seen yet have come to believe. Well, that's you and I. We, we believe, but we've not physically seen Jesus. So while Jesus performed visible signs during his ministry for others to see and believe, such signs could be abused and misunderstood. misunderstood. So in John, Jesus praises the kind of unseen faith that believes Jesus is crucified and he's the risen Messiah and he's the master who alone saves. So God, as the object of faith, we start with him and our belief in him. And may we bathe in the stunning beauty of our master Jesus. Woo, yeah, baby.